Oh, Let's do an official handshake here. Yeah. All right, so here's the new car. So yeah, before I get on the last train to pick up the car and then drive 12 hours back to Germany, I wanted to quickly walk through what was my process of getting this car. My goal was to get the cheapest possible car, but not a complete shit box. Because in Germany, the M3s, to get a decent one, you're probably going to spend at least 20 to 30,000, that's without really parts. And yeah, so I decided to go for the right-hand drive UK option, because I know it's possible to build them from right-hand drive to left-hand drive. I wanted to use the advantage of Brexit having not happened yet, to import a car to Germany without having to pay any import taxes. So, and yeah, the an E46 M3s are about half the price as they are in Germany, and for that money you can definitely transform them from right-hand drive to left-hand drive. And I don't really care about it initially being a left-right-hand drive car, because it's going to be a track car anyways. So yeah, I looked for a car for over half a year, a bunch of different portals, Gumtree, Piston Heads, forums, Facebook, eBay obviously. I finally found this car on eBay actually even was a track car, so it had some transformations or some stuff done to it. So, so yeah, let's get on the train and go pick up the car. Alright, so we made it to Bath. Here is a car. And here is hopefully a sad Nathan. <laughs> yeah, it's very sad. So he's the guy who's handing over the car to me. Um, currently, we've been in touch over the phone. And yeah, here's the car. I'll get into details about the car later, but we're gonna do the bank transfer now, and I'm gonna drive back to Stuttgart for 12 hours. Um, but yeah, Nathan, how are you feeling about handing over the car? A bit emotional at the minute, I must say. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna feel like this wee car, you'd get a bit attached, don't you? So. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I don't know. I can understand it's, it's that. Time, it's time, but at the same time, I'm like, I could have kept all of it, but it's, yeah. like I said, I've got stuff I need to do, so. Fair enough. At least it's going into good hands. Uh, yeah. You can watch a bit of it on YouTube. Yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to seeing, to be fair. Yeah. So. It'd be interesting to see, see yeah. where you take it further, to be fair. Yeah. Like said, in my eyes, I thought, where else can it go? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get this done. Thank you very much, Nathan. Very let's do an official handshake here. Yeah. All right, so here's the new car. stressful quick test drive making sure everything's okay jumping in the car and getting going as it is overall about a 12-hour trip so I'll see you in the train
a carriage for ourselves so we can take a quick look around the car um, but yeah here we go here is my new old BMW E46 M3 I'm very excited this really really is a dream for me uh, I did not think that I could make it happen at uh, this point in time even though it was a relatively cheap car but yeah I think she looks amazing I'm gonna be honest like this she looks better than she actually is but mechanically I think it's a very very good car so yeah let's start it's carbon black uh, it has a plastic GFK um, CSL style bootlet stock exhaust a beautiful apex wheels 10 times 18 I definitely think I'm gonna keep them maybe also get a set of pro tracks currently just some rain tires uh, probably gonna get Nankangs or similar we've got a little bit of rust here uh, which is pretty typical for these but that's all things which I'm gonna take care of as well as here so probably gonna get this entire section resprayed here you can see I forget the name but that was removed According to the owner, um, about 250 to 300 kilograms of weight was saved uh, due to the things that have been done. If I open the... I mean, this bootlet weighs absolutely nothing. Here we are, some spare pa parts that he gave me. So yeah, the car is absolutely empty. Um, part of a safety device's roll cage or half roll cage, if you will. Which you can see here, which only goes to the B-pillar. Um, then on the interior we have two carbio seats, just some covers so it's a little bit quieter and not as naked, uh, chassis mounted short shifter and other than that it's actually pretty stock from the interior. The air conditioning has been removed so it is pretty warm. All pressure gauge here, uh, nicely re-wrapped steering wheel and Alcantara. Then to the front, oh yeah, it's a no sunroof car which is very nice. To the front we have carbon fiber wings, which are not the best finish in the world, to be honest. Um, especially as you can see here, and the fit is also not the most amazing. Um, and then we also have a carbon fiber CSL cell bumper, if you can tell pretty close up to the front, uh, which I find very nice. Very nice stance here in the front, I think the previous owner said the current setup is about three and a half degrees negative camera in the front. Uh, there is a Nitron R1 suspension with different springs, but I'll probably be getting rid of that and getting a competition suspension. Then we have AP Racing uh, six piston brakes running a certain kind of pad, which I forgot to be honest. Go around to the other side. Uh, other side is pretty much the same but yeah paint is not in the worst condition to be honest uh, but it's got some scratches uh, and also a little bit more rust here which we need to take care of Let's see as well as down here which are the most typical spots for the E46 and yeah other than that drive was pretty good the way I parked the car it's a pretty good example of the problems I'm having with right-hand drive right now. Way too far away from there. Way too close for that side. But I'm getting better. I'm getting used to it. So let's bring her home. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned on the series of the new budget track tool. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, what did I pay for the car? I paid 15,000 pounds, which is about 16,500 euros for the current conversion rate. Um, about a thousand euro costs to bring it over with flights and euro tunnel costs and whatnot. It's around 17 and a half thousand euros in the cars in Germany, which I think is a pretty good price. So stay tuned and uh, like and subscribe if you like the video and thank you very much. Bye bye. Hey guys, what's up? So here's a part of the video that I was not hoping to make. There's my M3 in the background. I just got off of work. Um, Basically, the car most likely has a complete engine failure. What happened was 